Welcome to The Roost. Today I'm going to show you how to um, punch out an image where you leave part of the image not punched. You know, like if you have, say, a balloon or an umbrella or something in your image that you don't want cut out, so you want it to stick out beyond the um, punched area. Go ahead and stamp my image on it. This is just a piece of um, scrap, scrap paper, so I'm going to do. And then I can use this image, I'll show you here in a minute, as kind of a pattern. And the stamp set that I'm using for this is the Bella and Friends. It's this cute little puppy and parrot. So I'm going to start by stamping my image fairly close to the corner of your um, piece of paper so that you don't have to fight with as much extra um, paper. So go ahead and do that. And then this is where my mask comes in. I'm going to just hold this mask over here and then you'll see right here and right here are the two spots where I quit punching and I start um, you know going beyond the circle. So I'm going to just snip in from the from the edges here and then we'll have to fussy cut this balloon. So then you're going to take your your image that you've just snipped and we're going to, this is kind of the tricky part, so you need to wiggle wiggle this um, part that you've snipped into there and then we're going to lose a little bit of his tail here, but one, one or the other tail. And then we're going to just punch. And you'll see that punches out. And you can do this with any stamps. And it'll also work with um, framelits. And then I've just colored these in using some various um, colored stamp and write markers. I like them because they they show up pretty dark on this um, on this colored cardstock. And then I've taken the um, I've taken the any occasion celebration stamp set, and to get to get the happy birthday to to fit onto this circle, and it's the same punch. I've just punched out a half circle of white. You do have to like squish it up a little bit more. This is more curved than the curve that naturally um, comes, you know, with, with this wording. And then I just go ahead and adhere this so that the happy birthday sits behind. And again, you can see how it, how it layers onto the finished card. And just play with colors and combinations of background. This paper is actually um, another celebration item. Uh, I believe it's called Lift Me Up. It's really cute um, hot air balloons. Hope you enjoyed this cute little tip. Um, I actually learned this from another demonstrator, Elizabeth Giles. So I'd like to thank her. I'm casing her technique. Thanks for stopping by the roost and I hope you've enjoyed this quick punch technique.